Hi everyone, my name is Blaine Jarrett. I'm the Senior Vice President of Energy Delivery at the Jamaica Public Service Company. My responsibility spans the transmission network, the distribution network, or engineering teams, uh, anything that has to do with the power systems. It's my responsibility. Hi everyone, my name is Roger Kennedy. I am the Director for Distribution Operations and my role is to ensure a safe supply of electricity to all our customers in every nook and cranny of Jamaica. There are many reasons why we have power outages or unplanned outages. There are five main causes that account for about 80% of all our outages that customers see. Some of these are dependent on the environment, some of these are the actions of people, some of these are just the nature of the grid fact that it is out there in the element. So for example, we are being impacted significantly by motor vehicle accidents. As a matter of fact, most of the, the outages that impact a large um, volume of customers are related to motor vehicle accidents. We are seeing an increase in motor vehicle accidents right across the country. And in most cases, these accidents are also taking lives. So it is worth a concern for us in terms of the reliability of the grid, the impact on customers in terms of outages, but they are also impacting for persons' lives in terms of death. The other major thing for us is really the fact that persons are planting trees on the oil line. These trees are growing up into our lines and taking out our lines. Persons are planting trees in their, in their property that encroach road space and encroach our, our, our lines. Again, a big problem and the persons are cutting trees for whatever the reason they are cutting the trees and these trees are making contact with our, with our lines and causing um, damage to our, our lines and we are trying to educate as much as we can to encourage persons not to do so. Additionally, um, we, have, we are seeing where persons who are extracting electricity illegally from our grid they are throwing up those, those wires onto our power system. These are causing two major issues. One, they burn our lines, create a short circuit, cause power outages. The second major issue for that is that they are actually overloading and burning our transformers, something that we are really, really, really concerned about. Uh, they are generally acts of God because they, those lines are out there exposing the, to the elements, for example, lightning. Efforts are being made to mitigate, but we cannot eliminate. And some of those um, lightning strikes, particularly in the summer months, are so devastating. Um, the damage of our, 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 our transformers, the damage of our insulators, the damages of our, our, our circuits. And despite um, our effort to even restore some of those in, in, in quick order, the extent of the damage requires extensive work to have them do, those replaced. There are other items that are normally um, sometimes out of our control. Equipment generally have a life, and despite our best efforts to identify and, and replace some of those, these equipment before they, they fail, depending on the adverse environmental condition that they are, they are exposed to, they may fail long ahead of their desired or their, 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 their recommended in service life. Because these are key devices that are primarily impacted by contamination that are impacted by other elements that, have, that could be out there. It could be the same thing as dust that can create a problem. So we want to work with our customers to prevent these outages or to mitigate them as much as possible. I have three main requests. Firstly, I want to ask all the drivers to drive safely on the road. This is not only to prevent motor vehicle accidents but, and, and outages but also it saves lives. There are far too many persons dying from motor vehicle accidents and when you look at it again, a number of them are crashes into utility poles. The second thing I'd like to ask our customers to partner with us is to ensure that the trees on your property are cut before they encroach into the JPS lines. As a matter of fact, I think it would be a better idea not to plant trees near to the power lines and just get rid of the problem altogether. Lastly, I would want our customers to report all illegal connections to JPS. This will help us in many ways. It is a safety hazard, number one. 
not only causes outages, but it is also life-threatening to unsuspecting members of the public. So with those, I would ask you know, for our customers to work with us so that we can reduce the outages as much as possible on the distribution system. Everything that we do goes towards, um, one, eliminating outages and reducing the impact of the outages. Just to give you a practical example, our structural integrity program annually, right, we have a program where we inspect and replace aging or damaged um, equipment on our network. That is a key part of our, our program to ensure that the lights are always kept on. Additionally, what we're doing, we're investing um, in technology. For example, I spoke earlier about the vegetation problem. We're now um, investing in what we call a covered conductor, such that if trees come in contact with the line, it doesn't immediately cause an outage. If it continues resting on it, then it will eventually break it or burn it, but the immediate conduct won't immediately cause an outage. We're investing in technology in smart devices. So these may not necessarily prevent the outage, but whenever they do occur, it limits the extent and the duration of these outages. These technologies are technologies that are we are onboarding every single day at a significant cost. So these are things that we are doing um, to ensure that we can keep the lights on. Um, our teams, that's, their, that's in their DNA, that's what they do every single day, and it's a passion for them to do the work to ensure the lights are on. When our, our customers are interrupted, the next thing is for us to respond as quickly as we can and to ensure that we can correct the situation to prevent a repeat and to ensure that we can restore supply to our customers as urgently as possible. Thank you.